Have you ever been trying to film a video or take a picture and you can't get your camera colors to look right? This room right here is a, is a gray color. The, all the walls are gray and I've got good lighting here and I've got some light up in the ceiling, you know, just the house lights that are okay. I mean, they're really harsh, but my camera, especially the GH5 makes it look super blue. The whole image, like me, my shirt, my face, everything has just got a really high white blue tint to it and it, it's not accurate at all. I wanna teach y'all how to fix that and make it look like it does now. My colors look way more natural. It looks almost like a Canon camera would do. My Canon picks up on it extremely well. What you need is one of these. It's just a white balance, it's actually called a gray card. On the other side is white, so you could use that side if you like. But gray works too for this situation. Um, you can pick this up, I got it off of Amazon for $10. So super cheap, and I mean, why not add it to your uh, to your gear collection to have it if you ever need it? I mean, it, it fixes this stuff right here, as you just seen. So um, yes, you can fold it up, and just it's got a little pouch you can carry it in, put it in your bag. Don't take up any room. So what you do is you go into your camera and you tell it to use custom white balance. Like there's a mode, and this camera has four different modes where you can set two, four different custom ones. A little square comes up on the screen on this camera. Now the Canon, I think, just the whole frame. You use the whole frame and put it up in front of it. But for this camera, there's a little box, and if you just center this in the box and just you know get whatever, and try to keep try to keep the lighting the same on the whole piece. You don't want like one side dark where, like say one side shady like that, another side kind of bright. It's hard to tell. You need to have it kind of accurate and kind of all even. But you can set it to that and it should bring your colors up to how they should be. And you can take this with you and use it on different shoots and always get the perfect white balance. For those of you who don't really know why you should do this is to make sure your camera is seeing the colors exactly how they should be seen. Sometimes since the camera is not our eyes, you have to tell it what to look at and what is neutral. like what. You gotta, you gotta give it like a baseline to base everything else off of. Now, with this camera being in auto white balance like it was in the, with the blue screen, it's just taking all this abundance of light in here and trying its best to find out how to base the colors off of it. Now, what the white balance does is allows you to set like a medium, like give it a starting point. If you use this paper right, I mean, you use this little screen right in the middle of the frame, this it, it adjusts every color that it sees in the room off of this card. So it helps make everything the way it should be. Like I know that's not a great way to explain it. I tend to just try to explain things in my own words, but that's basically what it does is it gives the camera a good starting point and an accurate starting point to, to, get, to base all the rest of the colors off of. So, Okay, I'm gonna show you how to get your white balance set custom on the GH5 first. So you go into your function menu, and what you're gonna do is go to this one right here. And that is one through four of your custom white balance settings that you can use. And these down here are different Kelvins that you can set up. Say if you want to have 3300 programmed in there, every time you go to that K1, it'll be 3300. And you can have this one as daylight 5600. So that's how you can use that. But one through four is your custom white balance settings. You want to click that and you want to hit OK. Now what you want to do is press the white balance on the top of the camera. And see how this comes up? That's a quick way to get into the same settings. You can scroll left and right with your joystick or the arrows, obviously. But you want to get on the one just like we did, but you want to go up here to select white set. And that brings up your box. Now what you want to do is hold your white card up in front of it like that. You want to hit set and that's going to take the picture. And that's it, that's all you gotta do. By doing that, it's already programmed everything in and everything should be the right colors, so you're good to go. Now you wanna remember, to get everything perfect every time, you're gonna wanna do that same setup. You're gonna take a picture of the card, either side, every time you go to a different shooting location. Now I'm just gonna keep mine set, the custom setting one for this room, because I've got the same lighting right here all the time, so that's how I'm gonna use that. But now let's jump into how you do it on the Canon. So the process is a little different on the Canon. What you wanna do is go into picture mode. And you're gonna to wanna to hold this up in front of the camera. Just like that. And you wanna take a picture. If I can hold it up right. 
there we go so that's a picture taken on the camera now now you want to go into your menu under the picture section go to tab 2 click on custom white balance now the picture that you just took is going to show up here and this is the one that you're going to use so hit set it says use white balance data from this image for custom white balance hit OK now that's just telling us not to forget to either click right here for white balance and go here that's your custom button the little arrows with the square in the center or you can back all the way out click Q on the screen or the back of the camera hit the arrow once and click it right there now that is custom and that's going to set it to what we just set it to in the menu and that is it now you're done now it's going to take that that photo that we took and base all of the colors off of that now one thing to remember on both cameras the gh5 film and this and this canon right here is yes we have it set to custom white balance right now but as soon as we leave this room it's not going to be set right so we're going to have to remember to go back in there and set it to auto white balance or to take the card here with us and, uh, and, and redo it every new shoot because every lighting setup is different and needs to be kind of calculated differently. So keep that in mind. Well, there you go. There's how you set up your custom white balance using a gray card. I'm really glad I picked one of these up because my GH5 was just picking up way too much blue in this room and out in the field using it or outside using it. It was picking up some blue sometimes and I don't really like that. Using the same lighting as my Canon in this room, it just it wasn't comparable. So... That's how easy it is to set up white balance on each camera. I know it sounds like it would be tough, but it's not. It's, you just got to know the sequence to do things. And I find that having that little square on the GH5, I like that better than having to fill up the frame and take the picture on the GH5. I, I mean, on the Canon, I'm sorry. I believe the GH5 is faster. So being able to go right to the setting, hold the thing up, hit the picture, and it saves it automatically. You don't have to go in there and tell it what to do. So that's awesome on this camera. I think it's easier to use, but... One thing to keep in mind that if you're into editing your photos or um, color correcting your video, having one of these is crucial because if your camera's not picking up like the base, the colors it should be picking up to start with, even if it's flat and even if there's not much color in the picture and you do it all in post, if you don't start where it's perfect, you're never going to get what you want. It's kind of like taking a picture with, with a big yellow background, like a really warm background. It's going to be really hard to bring that back out to, to something a little whiter or bluer in post if you didn't start with that. You're going to have to eliminate it, then add something to it. It's a whole lot more work. So by having this and using it and setting it up every time you have different situations, you're always going to have accurate stuff to work with. So that is something to keep in mind if you're into that type of thing. And for 10 bucks, I mean, it's, it's, it's a no-brainer to have it because look how much better this looks compared to how the auto white balance worked on this. So if you have any questions or comments or anything you'd like, to, like me to answer, if I can, I will. Just leave it down in the comments. I also have a Sony camera if y'all would like for me to show y'all how that works on there. I could do that as well. I just had the GH5 and Canon the ones I'm using most right now. So that is how you do it on these two. But let me know if you want to see the Sony as well. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and learned something. That'd be great to know that I was able to help some of y'all out if you was unsure about what this is and how it works. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch y'all on the next video. See ya.